Hello, I'm Chris. I'm a Foundation Year 2 doctor at Brighton and Sussex University Hospitals. My chosen specialty is clinical radiology starting from August 2012. The reason why I chose clinical radiology as my specialty is the fact that it goes back to when I first started medical school. It involves diagnosing patients and it covers all specialties and is very general in nature. The fact that it is a run-through specialty is also highly appealing in the fact that I don't have to apply for registrar training after the first two years. When I first started medical school I had to make a, a choice about my medical elective. I chose that in New Zealand to complete radiology. During my time there I completed an audit in the radiology department and had this published in the British Journal of Radiology. I also completed a taster week during my foundation year one um, year and I also managed to um, start a job in academic nuclear medicine in foundation year two in which I was involved greatly with the imaging department. I think it's important to always have a plan B and that was to apply for core medical training and for general practice training. I was in the lucky position of being offered both positions and the decision to choose radiology was a difficult one but after reflection I felt that that was the right choice. Right from the beginning of Foundation Year One I made myself known to the radiology department in the hospital. Um, I chatted to registrars and cons consultants involved in radiology uh, specifically those who are involved in the recruitment process and therefore I felt that I was putting myself in the best position possible to be a successful applicant. So the first thing I did was study the application form from previous years and also look at the person specifications available on the specialties website um, to firstly look at the essential criteria to make sure that I have answered all of those and then to look at the desirable criteria to see if I could answer any more within the next few months in the time up and coming to recruitment beginning. Um, I did this by studying each individual specialty um, and seeing, as I say, whether I could choose certain areas in the few, next few months. The first thing I did was get um, interview guides for each various specialty that I had applied for. and This was either from the Royal College or from colleagues who had been successful in the past in those specialties. I would then formulate answers um, and practice these with my colleagues who are also applying for these specialties and also for registrars who have been successful in those. And also I think it's important to practice with lay people to see how well you come across an interview. So before the interview I was well prepared and I had learnt my portfolio thoroughly and practiced all of the questions that I think may have come up at interview. I just happened to have a family holiday the week before the interview but because I had already prepared all my answers and portfolio prior to this this didn't impact on me as greatly as it could have done. So my top tips for being a success successful applicant at specialty training is one to get yourself known to the department of interest and discuss with registrars and consultants of all levels and especially those who are involved in recruitment. A second one would be to obtain careers guides and question guides relating to that specialty and how to compile a portfolio again specifically for that specialty. Another one would be to complete or at least look at um, specialty related examinations that higher trainees would be expected to pass and your knowledge on these would be greatly received at interview. And I think it's important to keep up to date with current NHS issues for example, during my radiology application I attended a, uh, an event run by the British Institute of Radiology who raised awareness of current issues facing radiologists and the NHS as a whole. Finally, I think practice is the most important thing. So when you have good questions and a good portfolio that you've put together through hard work prior to that, again, work, practice this a lot and make sure that you know it thoroughly and I think that will help you be successful.